What is the power of one? In a nation of millions, one voice can stand out against injustice and challenge the status quo. One moment and one courageous act can spark a movement and change the course of history. December 1st, 1955, about six o'clock in the afternoon, I boarded the bus downtown Montgomery on Coach Square, proceeded out of town on the third stop. The white passengers had filled the front of the bus. The driver noticed that the front of the bus was filled with white passengers. The driver said that if I refused to leave the seat, he would have to call the police. And I told him, just call the police. I felt that I was not being treated right, and that I had a right to retain the seat that I had taken as a passenger on the bus. The time had just come when I had been pushed as far as I could stand to be pushed, I suppose. And thanks to that courageous act, a movement was made a bus boycott that lasted 381 days, support from so many, and equal rights for all. Rosa Parks changed our world for the better. When I think about growing up and hearing about Rosa Parks, it reminds me of why I'm doing what I do today. Rosa Parks did something that no one else had ever done. I mean, she got arrested for a cause and she turned it into a movement that made this country all the better. So I thought, I'm gonna write a piece of legislation to continue her legacy, to make it Rosa Parks Day. I went into full motion, contacting my colleagues, Democrats and Republicans, calling the speaker and saying, this means more to me than just about any piece of legislation I could write. I can remember that vote. And when I looked up at the voting board and I saw it was unanimous, breathtaking, breathtaking. What is the power of one? One voice in one moment can show us the meaning of courage and inspire the future. When I think of Rosa Parks and I think of the power of one, I think of this one person, this one small African-American female deciding to do one of the most courageous things in the world. She changed the world. We call her the mother of the modern civil rights movement. And in classrooms across America, future generations are learning of Rosa Parks' heroic act. Can you imagine a young, fresh mind of eight years of age talking about 1955, talking about a date when their parents weren't even born? But thanks to the wonderful teachers and educators, they spend months teaching young children about Rosa Parks and the power of one. Now that's a legacy. Rosa Parks died on October 24th, 2005, at the age of 92. Her body lay in honor in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol, where an estimated 50,000 people viewed her casket. Her funeral service lasted seven hours. Her casket, draped in the U.S. flag, was carried in a horse-drawn hearse to the cemetery, where thousands lined the streets, releasing white balloons and cheering for our hero. But we still have much more to do, and it is our desire to continue to work with young people and give them uh, motivation and encouragement to reach their highest potential.